Thursday. Thank you again for tuning in and joining us as we journey through the book of Malachi. Um, I pray that today would be uh, informative and life-changing for you, and I pray that the Word of God would speak to you. And today we're in the book uh, of Malachi, chapter 3 is the chapter we're in, and today we're actually going to cover three different questions. Um, earlier in the week, I think it was Monday, uh, we talked about how the book of Malachi is structured or built around seven different questions. And today in chapter three, three of those questions come up. Um, and those questions are, how can we return? How have we robbed you? How have we spoken against you? Those three questions are gonna, we're going to cover after our scripture reading. Um, so keep those in the back of your mind. And I'm going to turn it over to our youth now and let them read our scripture for the day. Hi everyone, this is Nathan McAdam. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be reading Malachi chapter 3, verses 6 through 13. I am the Lord, and I do not change. That is why you descendants of Jacob are not already destroyed. Ever since the days of your ancestors, you have scorned my decrees and failed to obey them. Now return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of Heaven's armies. But should you ask, how can we return when we have never gone away? Should people cheat God? Yet you have cheated me. But you ask, what do you mean? When did we ever cheat you? You have cheated me of the tithes and offerings due to me. You are under a curse, for your whole nation has been cheating me. Bring the tithes into the storehouse so they may there may be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of Heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it in. Try it. Put me to the test. Your crops will be abundant, for I will guard them from insects and disease. Your grapes will not fall from the vine before they are ripe, says the Lord of Heaven's armies. Then all the nations will call you blessed, for your land will be such a delight, said the Lord of Heaven's armies. You have said terrible things about me, says the Lord, but you say, what do you mean? What have we said against you? Awesome. Good job, Nathan. Thank you for reading our scripture today. The Israelites, they're, they're kind of lost, aren't they? They ask, how can we return? They, they say that with this with this tone of, we never left, we've been here the whole time. Like, what are you talking about? How can we return if we've never left? Do we not keep your laws and your rituals? But it's like they almost forgot all of that stuff that was covered in chapter 2, all that unfaithful stuff. They think, we didn't do anything wrong. What do you mean, come back to you? Um, it, and it's just, it's funny to see them struggle with this. Um, and I'll explain to that to you in a, in a minute why it's so funny. But real quick, the phrase that just jumped out at me in our passage today is, The Lord does not change. He is the same today as he was back then. God is a loving and forgiving God and provides a way back to him. God says, come back to me. God goes on to say, you've robbed me and you've spoken against me. And the Israelites, again, shocked. They're, they, we don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? How have we robbed you? And how have we spoken against you? Is kind of their questions to God. They're, they're like, what are you talking about? And, and every time I've read this and I thought about it, I can't help but think of when Chloe was a little girl. She would sneak off sometimes and get stuff out of our pantry you know, to snack on, and we'd always tell her, you know, it's okay to get a snack, but there was one time she got in there, and she got into a mess of chocolate. She had chocolate on her shirt. She had chocolate all over her face, and I remember coming around the corner and catching her uh, standing there at the pantry, and I asked her, Chloe, did you get into the chocolate? And her surprised look on her face is, uh, no, nope. Are you, are you sure you didn't get into the chocolate, Chloe? She said, no, I wouldn't do that. Oh, okay, so well, I'm not mad. I just want you to tell me the truth, okay? I don't want you to lie. Did you, did you eat some chocolate today? And she, she just stone cold. Nope, that's mom's chocolate. I wouldn't do that. Um, she just denied it to the end. I don't know what you're talking about. That I feel like that's what the Israelites are doing here. They're like, come back. What do you mean? We never left. 
We've robbed you of tithes and offerings. What are you talking about? We've given you we've given you tithes and offerings. They're just denying it to the end. I feel like they just they're in that same spot Chloe was. If you tell me the truth, I won't be mad. But what's awesome here is God tells them, I'm the Lord Almighty. I never change. The Lord does not change. He's still God. He's still loving. And you're still his chosen people. That's amazing. Even though after what they've done, they've robbed, they've spoken against them, they've given them lame sacrifices, they've been unfaithful, God says, you're still my chosen people. And that's awesome. That gives us hope for today. I love that. The Lord does not change. They're still his chosen people. And despite all that they've done, he still loves them. And he still wants them to repent. And he still wants them back. And that gives me tremendous hope for today. Because it doesn't matter where we're at or what we've done. God still loves us. And he wants us to return. That's our that's our message for today. Our our devotional for today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you dive deeper and you read the whole chapter and you begin to really ask yourself, do some inner thinking and, and ask yourself, have I uh, turned from God in any small ways? Have I robbed God of anything or have I spoken against God in any little way? A lot of people say, well, I've never said anything against God, but you know, sometimes your actions speak louder than your words. And so today as we sit in quarantine, um, or as we're still practicing social distancing, ask yourselves, what can we do different? How can we return to God? Because he's waiting. He still loves us. And that won't ever change. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for your word. Thank you for the book of Malachi. And I pray that as we journey through it, uh, you would begin to just help us to examine ourselves, our own faith, and where we're at with you. And how we can change things to be more faithful. To turn to you and not away from you. That all our words, all our actions, and all our deeds would line up with your laws, with your ordinances, and what you ask us to do. Father, we pray these things in your name. Amen. Have a great day.